Good morning. It is April something or other. Got some African Queen. Nice seven Ellie pipe from the pipe note. And uh said last night I would relate the story of the time I met B.B. King. Well, so I was in Memphis. Oh, God. I have mentioned this before. I was right around 30 years old. I'm plenty much older now. So this must have been 16, 17 years ago. Anyways, I see that right there in their main area, there's a restaurant called BB King's. I'm like, Dude, that's awesome. I'm going to go in there. So I go in. And the area right around the bar is packed. There's some decent looking uh, bartenders there. Or at least when I went there were. Um, I wasn't going to get a spot there. And I didn't really feel like tearing up a uh, four top. Meaning some place that four people can sit. So I asked for the smallest table they had. They had one little two top two people available to sit at it right there by the stage. It's this little bitty little bitty stage. Not not like a big huge high school production type thing. It was just, you know, enough for like drums, a couple of horns, BB couple people might be able to get up there and play you know if it could have held more than six or seven people at least back then if it could have held more than six or seven people I'd have been shocked anyways uh, I went in sat down and I'm enjoying a meal And I feel this hand on my shoulder. Uh, I know it was this shoulder. So it was my right shoulder. Which was tilted a lot more towards the stage. And I look up. Back over my shoulder there. And there's B.B. King. And he asks me if he can set his drink on my table. I'm like, what? No, you could set your drink on my head. I mean, literally, I'm just here renting a space long enough to have a meal. You own the place. Put your drink anywhere you want. And I moved my table a little over towards him so that he could have his drink wherever he wanted to. And, uh... I don't know what he told the staff or whatever, but they just kept bringing me beers. Nah, I mean, I wasn't drinking fast, but man, I got to sit like basically front row and BB was just up there jamming. And I don't even remember the date specifically. Uh... There was a lot going on back then. I always wanted to go back and see him. I never got the chance to go back. I never got the chance to see him. Other than that one time I got to see him. But, you know, to be that close to true legendary type people, yeah. It's pretty interesting. Anyways, 
That's the story of how I met B.B. King. Y'all be looking forward to seeing y'all, or I will be looking forward to seeing y'all in some of my new live broadcasts, thanks to Chad, also known as Yardism. Uh, taught me a little trick on how to get back to lives, and I'm going to use it. So, in the near future, let's see what we can do. Anyways, as always, long lives, big bowls, and long ashes. Y'all take care and I'll see you soon.